Hey guys, welcome to the last exam prep problem for this section. Okay, so for this one, we're determining the work done by a charge moving through an electric field. Um, so we're determining the work done along a parabola and then along a straight line. So uh, over here, I have the general work equation written out um, and we are going to um, use that along with the E field given by the problem and this DL, just because we have change in the X and change in the Y, this is gonna be our DL for our equations here. We'll note that z here, uh, in negative four, there's actually no change in z for this particular expression, so we can leave it out. Okay, so um, we are going to first solve out this e dot dl. Let me grab the correct pen here. Okay, so we have e dot dl, all right, uh, is equal to y in the x hat plus x in the y hat. Uh, times dx x hat plus dy y hat. Okay, so we're going to distribute here. Um, and just as a recap, um, so you guys are probably super sick of hearing this, but uh, x hat dot y hat or uh, y hat dot x hat, these are both equal to zero. If you dot two perpendicular vectors with each other, it's equal to zero. And x hat dot x hat or y hat dot y hat equals one. The dot product tells you the magnitude of one direction, one vector in the direction of the other. Um, so this essentially uh, is equal to x hat dot x hat, uh, the magnitude of the directional unit vector squared, which is just one in this particular case. Uh, okay, so x hat dot x hat, so that's this line here. Uh, let me use actually gray so we don't get confused. Uh, x hat dot x hat uh, equals one. Uh, x hat dot y hat equals zero. Uh, same for all of these here. So just remember these rules on the side. On the first exam, it seemed like there were quite a few people who still didn't um, do very well with that. Okay, so e dot dl uh, is equal to um, y dx plus x dy when we simplify everything out here. Um, okay, so this is our e dot dl, and we're gonna use this for our work expression up here. Okay, so first part, we're given a parabola, so we know we have our value for q right here, right? And we have an equation for this parabola for y. Um, so we're going to use this e dot dl expression and we're going to plug it into our work expression because it's asking us to determine the work done. So we're going to take this work equation, oop, I'm going to put it down here, um, and then we're going to sub out our pieces here. So we have um, our, we're going to just leave negative q in there, even though we do have it. So this negative q is here. Uh, is equal to y dx plus x dy. Okay. And we're going to do something here where we're going to actually sub out and just solve this in terms of one variable because it'll be easier. So if we have y equals 2x squared, dy is going to be equal to 4x dx. So we're going to sub out our y and we're going to sub out our dy. So we're going to sub out y and we're going to sub out dy. I'm going to solve for everything in terms of x. Um, and to get our bounds for x, we're going to go from x1 to x2. So we're going to want to grab those. So x1 equals x2 equals. Um, so x1, we're going to go up. Oh, sorry, too far up. We're going to go up here. So this is our x1 at point 0.1. This is our x2 at point 0.2 because this is x1, y1, z1. This is x2, y2, z2. Uh, so we're just grabbing them from here. Okay, so x1 is 1, x2 is negative 2, x2 is negative 2. Okay, so that gives us our bounds. So that means that we're going from 1 to negative 2 after we swap these out. So we're going to end up with w equals negative q, and the integral of, so subbing out that y, 2x squared dx plus x times 4x dx. Okay, and then our bounds, uh, x2 equals negative 2, x1 equals 1. Okay, um, let's simplify this a little bit more. So this is going to turn into 4x squared over here. So 4x squared, this is 2x squared. So we're going to end up with 6x squared from uh, 1 to 2. And then we're going to go ahead and integrate that. So we're going to end up with 6x to the third over 3 from 2, oh sorry, negative 2 to 1. Okay, and then multiply that with negative q. Okay, so... That's going to turn into uh, 6 times negative 2 to the third over 3 minus 6 times 1 to the third over 3. Uh, multiply.
multiply by this q. Okay, so that's going to give us, um, okay, 6 times, two, so this is negative 16 uh, minus uh, 2 here, uh, and then multiply by q, so, um, or negative q, so we're going to end up with negative 5 times 10 to the negative 6 times negative 18 is going to equal 90, um, 90 uh, microjoules. So this is to the negative 6 for our micro here. So just moving that over. Okay, so that is correct there. Okay, so we found this first part. So that's the work done along a parabola. Um, now we're going to need to find the work done along a straight line. Uh, so for the work done along a straight line here, um, we are 